according to the riches of his grace. I want to go over to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 4. After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will shew thee things which must be hereafter and immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. There was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. Round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. They had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And then when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for Thou hast created all things and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. You may wonder how possibly the scriptures that told of one who said, I will raise my throne above God. I will ascend into heaven. I will be like the Most High could possibly have anything to do with the scripture where heaven opens up and God says, come up and let me show you things which shall be hereafter. Amen. And I want to start out tonight, Brother Sparks, by saying I am so glad that there are some high places we can reach. Amen. There are some heights that I believe it is the will of God for the children of God to walk upon. I don't believe that it is for the children of God to be down and out and heads hung down and can't lift a hand. But I believe there's some high places we've been made set together in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I got to looking at that altitude, if you will, that God has for the people of God. Amen. That altitude where somebody can be saved. That altitude where somebody can live above the sin of this world. That altitude where another one can be filled with the Holy Ghost. That altitude where another one can run the aisles, can be blessed, can feel the touch of God. Amen. But it seems like that what's stopping us from reaching that altitude where God says come up is we reach that attitude that says I will do it. Uh -huh. And I'd like to preach tonight, yeah. amen, simply from the little thought you can reach the altitude if you can avoid the attitude. Yeah. Amen. amen. You can reach that place in God. And can I say this tonight? And I believe I can say this without contradiction. 
There has never been a move of God that did not start in the altitudes. There has never been a God-used ministry, a God-used church, a God-used anything that did not start in the altitude. But there has never been one that ended in any place but the altitude. And I want to preach tonight and tell you that there is an altitude we can reach or there's an attitude we can grab hold of. But if you grab hold of the attitude, friend, forget about the altitude. Amen. And I want to tell you tonight, friend, I love holiness. Amen. As an altitude. I love the altitude of worship. I love the altitude of praise. But when it becomes nothing but an attitude, amen, then friend, it has lost its, amen, draw and power. It's lost its grace. It's lost its glory. It's lost its anointing. It's lost its power. And I feel like that, friend, is the formula right there. If we can push attitude out of the way, there is places we can reach in God to where the glory and power of God once more moves among us and blesses us and touches us. Amen. 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 Let me ask you this. Amen. And I, I don't put any stock in those that just literally want nothing to do with God. Amen. As always being the poor misused. I don't believe that. But I wonder if it's the altitude of God or the attitude of God's people that have pushed some away. I wonder. I receive. Amen. I have never found anything in the worship and the righteousness and the glory and the holiness and the power and the presence of God that was uh, repulsive, if you will. But when that attitude of people takes over and it's no longer the high places of God that we're reaching, but that attitude of ourself that we reach, then friend, there is a world out there that quite frankly, literally, don't want nothing to do with it. Right. Amen? Right. There's a world out there that has seen enough of it They've seen that attitude till they're sick of it. We've seen it bust fellowships, break friendships, push this one out, push that out. Amen. And can I tell you, friend, the division and separation that is above even holiness, folks, in this hour is not because of an altitude. It is because of an attitude. We've reached an attitude that says, I need nobody. I can do this myself. It is me and no one else. If I ain't preaching, ain't nobody preaching. If I ain't singing, it ain't going to go over. If I ain't on the piano, ain't nobody can do it but me. If I ain't on the drums, ain't nobody can beat them but me. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. But there's also an altitude that same man comes together and worships God together and loves one another and honors one another. And I'm going to tell you, friend, holiness, amen, is a high, high place, amen. Amen, holiness is more than just a set of codes and a set of doctrines and a set of bylaws and a set of standards. It is the very character and the very nature of God. It is the essence and nature of God's, amen, being. And when we say we are holiness and our holiness reaches no further than an attitude, then we are not trying to ascend to the level of God, but trying to bring God down to the level of us. And I'd like in this revival, amen, please help me tonight. I told you I need help. But would you love to see this church? Hey, would you love to see individuals? Would you love to yourself get above some things? Amen. Would you love to the things that trouble and the things that bother and the things that dig and the things that fight? Don't you believe tonight that there is a way to get above that? Don't you believe tonight, amen, that there is a real worship? There is a real move of God? Amen. Come on. 
Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost. The great presence of the Godhead. The third person of the Godhead. Amen. You see, an altitude we reach or an attitude we take. Amen. The anointing of God. Is it an altitude we reach or an attitude we take? Amen. The very service we're in right now. Amen. Are we reaching for an altitude or are we sitting there with an attitude? Amen. Amen. Come on now, saints of God. And I don't stand here. I'm not, I'm not beating on you. Amen. You don't have much I'm beating on me. Amen. Because I have watched how easy it is to replace the one with the other. Amen. I have watched so easily we, amen. No, but you see, to reach the altitude takes some work. Right. To reach the altitude takes some dedication. To reach the altitude takes some consecration. Yes, to reach the altitude takes some sacrifice. Amen. To reach the attitude doesn't take anything. Amen. You can take that so fast. You can walk through the doors and amen. Now you've got it. I'll tell you, friend, tonight. Amen. The Lord is coming. And the end is going to be here faster for some of us than we can even imagine. And Brother Bill, would you hate to face the final coming, closing out hour? Would you hate to face the judgment and the only thing you ever reached in the service of God? The only thing you ever reached with a bloody cross behind you and an empty tomb behind you and a Holy Ghost behind you and the only thing you ever reached was an attitude. Amen. Where you came into church and attitude sets us on our seat and attitude tells us when we can worship, can't worship and attitude tells us when the right one's up, the right one is. Amen. Would you love to reach that altitude? Where when you enter into his courts, you're here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to lift him up above everything else. Come on. That's right, brother. Amen. Oh, but brother, you don't understand. Attitude is the realm of the liberal, the worldly, the charismatic, maybe. I, but I don't know much about them. I, I've not dealt with attitudes where the smoke was on the floors and the, and the strobe and neon lights because I've never been there. I've never been where the disco ball was whirling around in the church. I've never been there. I've never been there where they done silly things over and over and over again. I've been there. Uh, but I have been. Amen. Where there was none of that. But we face attitude. And that attitude moves into the church house. And that attitude starts dividing. And that attitude starts shoving aside. Amen. Amen. And can I tell you, friend, far more deadly. Amen. Uh, I remember, and don't fall out with me here, but I remember one old preacher telling about years ago they were having a little schoolhouse meeting somewhere. Amen. And some boys went into the wilderness and they caught a bunch of serpents. They caught every rattler they could catch. They caught every copperhead they could catch. And they put them in a big grass burlap sack and they laid the sack on the ground and they took limbs and they beat the sack until the things were very violent. Amen. Wild. And said they went up to where them holiness people was having church. They kicked the back door open and slung the burlap sack up through the middle of the church and said them things went everywhere. Amen. And uh, as Brother Dorsey Wells was telling me, and old Brother Dorsey said there was an old sister shouting up on the platform and said she never opened her eyes, said her eyes was closed, said she lifted up her apron, old timer, you know, wore aprons. 
They lifted up her apron and walked back through there, picked them every one up as she walked back through there, walked out on the porch, dropped her apron and shouted right on back in and never opened her eyes up. Amen. 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 But far more deadly than them things is when a big sack full of attitudes gets slung in there. And it seems like there ain't nobody shouting. Amen. That can pick up an attitude in an apron and take it out. I wish they could. Amen. I, amen. Help me, Holy Ghost, right here. I have brought some attitudes into church with me before that I severely wish somebody would have come by and said, Brother, allow me to take that thing out for you. Amen. Amen. And if you've never done that, then you're a mighty good temper. Amen. But if we ain't mighty careful, all of us, amen, might bring one in with us every now and then. We might pack one in. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Now y'all ain't helping me. I've done lost you. I've done crazy man. Amen. Amen. But I'm telling you about a place we can reach where we can see folks touched and folks moved on and folks filled and folks delivered. Amen. And not just see one or two shouting, but see the whole house of God running the aisles and rolling in the floors and the healing virtue of Christ moving among us and the power of God moving among us and folks driving by and saying, I've got to go in. I can't figure it out, but I've got to go in and see our backsliders come back and seeing them come back that have been gone for a long time and watch them come in and say I've got to make it back. I've got to. Yeah. Amen. 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 What was it? What was it Brother Raymond Connor? Amen. That made them in this part of the country have church in barns and brush harbors. Amen. What, what, what was it that Brother Sidney Sparks when they barely had electricity, let alone air conditioning. Amen. Pot belly stoves to heat with. Yeah. Amen. Preachers that could barely read the Bible. Amen. Yeah. Some of them had to get others read their text for them because they couldn't read. Right. Amen. Young people flocking in the altars being filled with the Holy Ghost. Some of you right here was filled in them kind of meetings. Right. Y'all ain't going to help me, are you? Oh, Amen. Singing when there wasn't no PA system. Right. Amen. Playing a piano that they or may not have been in tune. Guitars and strings been on there since the guitar was there. Amen. But they had an altitude about them that reached out to everybody. Amen. They had an altitude about them that made you want what they had. That made you want to worship with them. That oh the God. Amen. Now, amen, rebuke me if I'm wrong here. Amen. But you walked in churches like that. Amen. Young, rough, sinner boy. And there was something about the place they had reached. You wanted that. You wanted that. There wasn't nobody come up with that. What's Connor doing here attitude? What's Raymond doing here attitude? But they had reached a place where them old mothers of Israel could come by. He might say, <laughs> Lay that hand upon you. And the power of God start falling. Are you all going to help me preach? Amen. Amen. Are you all going to worship God or not? Amen. I'm talking about a place. Amen. That we have been. I'm talking about the first time I ever walked in that church over yonder. I told you that yeah, was Saturday morning. I was so nervous when I walked in there. Amen. If somebody hollered boo, I believe I would have took off running. Amen. Amen. I first walked in there, I was, I was trembling. Amen. And I remember Brother Elmo Townsend come up to me. Amen. Brother Townsend walked up to me the first time I'd ever laid eyes on him. And he started speaking in tongues. And the Holy Ghost started moving. And Sister Judy, the altitude that he was at caused me to fall madly in love with that church. Amen. I was telling someone here yesterday, walked in, first time ever walked in the old church of White Home. Amen. I just had walked in there. Power of God already moving. They didn't take 20 
37 songs get it going. Hey man, the first song. Hey man, I watched Brother Raymond run outside the church. He hit the first car and run the backs of the cars and the hoods of the cars all the way around that parking lot. He never left a scuff mark. He never left a footprint. He never left a mark on every one of them. And I said, I want what these people have got. Amen, Sister Macy. Very quiet woman. Went to praise and God. You've seen her do it, Brother David. And I said, I want what they've got. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you, friend, there is still a world out there that is looking for something above where they are. They're still looking for something. Amen. Can I tell you, attitudes are my easy thing to get a hold of. And when a church gets in that place where they're run on attitude, they have went as far as they are going to go. When a ministry is now being directed by attitude, it has went as far as it is going. I speak as a fool. I speak as one who has been there. And I have shown that way. God, if we can't reach that altitude in this revival, Lord, then we will not go no further. Amen. But I believe there's a place that Brother Sidney hit it this morning. Amen. Sister Kathy's hit it. Brother, brother, brother Brad's already talked about it. Different ones have already mentioned it. Amen. They talked about it yesterday morning about Amen. What they used to have and the meetings we used to have. Amen. And then the spirit that used to move among us. That was back when we run the church on altitude. Amen. And that's back when it wasn't. When it wasn't, we've got this and designated here and this and designated here. It was who can reach it. Amen. Can somebody reach it? Amen. Y'all ain't gonna help me, are you? Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Hey man, am I way out on some kind of limb of that saw off tonight? Hey man, or if he man, come on now. I'm talking to the holiness people tonight. I'm talking to the Pentecostal people tonight. Hey man, hey man, can I tell you? Hey man, when the Pentecostal people learned how to get an attitude, the Pentecostal people quit searching for the altitude. Hey man. when he was young and he was young there was something about the holiness church the young people had sit there and tremble that's right that's right yeah. amen yeah. amen young ladies would amen they would they would they would tremble because of the way the power of God was moving that's right amen yes. amen and I've seen the altitude, amen, of that. And I've also seen the altitude said, Mr. God, you're going to live it because I said to live it. Right. That's right, brother. I've seen that too. I've done it. Yes, sir. I've done it. Amen. I've said, we'll line them out. We'll straighten them out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Work. We'll get you here in a little bit. Get that attitude. I've watched it cut them. I've watched it slice them. I've watched it dice them. I've watched it knock them plum to the ground. Amen. I've watched them. Amen. Amen. Where are we at tonight? Oh, God. Right. Good, Where are we at tonight? Where are they at? Have, you ever, have you ever preached the two real? You sure have. Amen. Why well, preach the preach the we we've seen them seen them wipe the makeup off the face, see them scrape the fingernail, polish off the fingernails. Right. Amen. Amen. Before they act tonight. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. But I've also seen them come in there, Brother David. Amen. And the power of God get to moving. And they start saying, I need more. Yeah. Oh, Lord, God. Oh, 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 I 
I feel the Holy Ghost here in this revival. Amen. My, my, my. I mean, I'm preaching there another night of this revival, but this one's a formula if you want to take it or not. Amen. Amen. There's something we've got to reach. And the first thing we've got to do to reach it is we've got to get the attitude pressed out of the way. Amen. Lucifer said, I will. I will. I will. I will. You are. You are. I will. I will. My. You are. I will. Amen. But if we can say, God, it's not me. God, it's not in me. I can't do it by myself, Lord. I can't live this by myself. I can't live this without you. I can't shout without you. I can't worship without you. I can't praise without you. I can't preach without you. Amen. Oh, amen. I, I wish somebody would worship him tonight in the house of God. Amen. Brother Ricky Connor. Amen. Have you ever seen times, amen, when you're so leery of attitude that she's about afraid to speak to anybody, is about afraid to ask him a question, about afraid to smile at him, about afraid to reach a hand. Didn't know, amen, which attitude am I going to reach out to tonight? Amen. Come on now, saints of God. Amen. But I've seen that Holy Ghost filled saint. Amen. Oh, I'm going to tell you, friend, I love holiness. Amen. I love it. Amen. And I'm going to tell you what made me love it. It's when I seen those who really had it. Those who really got a hold of it. Amen. 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 I was, amen. I was sitting in a restaurant in Indiana one time. Years ago. Young preacher. Just started out evangelizing. But in Sydney there was a couple over at another table they was looking at us, watching us over there. Man, one, maybe, maybe a couple, maybe several people over there. The man kept looking over there and finally waved. I, I waved back. I seen these Pentecostal people. I seen this. They, they look like homeless people. A little while he come over there and walked over to me. He said, I know what you are. I looked at him. I said, what am I? He said, you're a holiness preacher. I said, I tried. He said, God just spoke to me at my table to get you to come for revival. He said, will you do it? I said, sir, you just pulled the big guns. How can I say no? I mean, if God spoke to you, who am I? I said, I'm in revival right now. When it's over, we'll come. And he, 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 I thought he was going to shout in the restaurant right there. I was about to shout with him. I mean, we was, we was about to have a whole ghost meeting right there in Ryan's or where it was. And he turned around, started back to his table, tell all his people. He turned around to me and said, by the way, you are UPC, aren't you? I said, well, no. He said, you, you are oneness, aren't you? I said, well, absolutely not. I'm Trinity all the way. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Been baptized that way. Don't baptize no other way. I believe it's three in God here. Three by record in heaven. Amen. He looked back at me. He said, I can't use you. And went back over and sat back down. I scraped and played, eat, eat and stuff. Me and Debbie got walked out. I, 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 I said, what? I mean, attitude comes over there. God sent me here. Yeah. Then attitude jumps in and says, you ain't one of us. I should have walked over to the table and said, y'all need a new pastor. <laughs> Amen. But that would have been about as bad as attitude as he had, wouldn't it? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I wonder what kind of attitude you could have got in a Philippian jail with your back beat bloody and raw. Amen. And stocks and bombs on your arm. wonder what kind of attitude you... Oh, if I could ever get out of these things. I'd twist his head. Amen. I'd hit him with the first thing I can pick up. Amen. Silas said, Paul, what are we going to do? We're going to sing. And we're going to praise God. And the prisoners heard them. And at the midnight hour, the jail started and shaking. I wish somebody would praise Him here tonight. Amen. Amen. That's the difference in altitude and attitude. Amen. 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 Heat the furnace up seven times hotter than it's want to be heated. What kind of attitude can you get there? You can get a bat real quick. Amen. Amen. Or you can reach that place where you're walking about in the flames and there's another one walking in there with you. And He said, Get when I'll throw three. Cast three into the fire. Yea, King, will I see four? And the fourth is like unto the Son of God. I wish somebody praise Him here tonight in the house of God. Amen. 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 I wish 
somebody was hungry to reach that place tonight. Amen. Would you love to see our young people? Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, that's when young people used to get convictions of their own. Amen. Amen. That's when young people raised right out in the world would go home and say, I can't wear that no more. I can't go there no more. Amen. I can't do that no more. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you, friend, the real altitude of holiness busted up more steels in this part of the country than the revenueers did. Amen. And that's the truth. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you tonight, if somebody would reach for this tonight, I believe David said, I'll look to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Amen. Praise It's the last day, preacher. It's every man for himself. It's the last day. It's the last day. So we're going to just go through the motions. I don't need no more than I've got. I'm a good fellow. There is no reason anybody sitting here tonight is not filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. 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 Amen. But the Holy Ghost as an attitude has turned more people from the Holy Ghost than the devil ever could have done. Come on now, you're talking to us. That attitude that says, I've got it, and you ain't got it like I got it. You didn't get it like I got it. You didn't do like I did. Bless your heart. Amen. Amen. They were all in that upper room. And the Bible said there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. Brother Lester, I love to see you, and I know you're quiet and reserved. I love to see you tear out that pew out the bottom. Amen. Worshiping God, praising God. Amen. Yes. Brother David, I've seen you shout. Amen. Amen. When we was both young. Amen. Brother John, praise God. You've got a lot to praise God for, son. Amen. The devil said, I've got him. Amen. But look at the altitude that God's got you in right now. Amen. Amen. Every one of us in here, if we're really wanting to be honest with ourselves, deserve to be lost. But thank God the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching them that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we're to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith and with the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne. Amen? Oh, yeah. Let me ask you tonight. Let me ask you tonight. Can you lift a hand and worship God? Well, I don't feel like it. I'm fixing to address that attitude here. I don't feel like it is an attitude. He is worthy of your praise. He is Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. The Lily of the Valley. The bright and morning star. Is he not worthy of praise here tonight? Is he not worthy of worship here tonight? When we think about that place where we're going that's out of this world, when we think about the glory of God, let me ask you tonight, friend, amen, what can stop us from praising God except an attitude, amen? There is nothing, amen, not principality, not power. What can separate us from the, amen, love of God? What can do that? Satan can't do it. Satan can't stop you from praising God. Only you can do that. 
Satan cannot paint him as an unworthy. Only you can do that. Satan can make you self-centered or cannot make you self-centered. Only you can do that. Satan cannot make us prideful. Only we can do that. Satan cannot give us an attitude. We hunt one and we find it. We grab hold of it. Amen. And the problem is, Brother John, when we get so entrenched with it, we start looking for others that have the same one we've got. Amen. And pretty soon we find them. Amen. And if you're looking for someone with an attitude like yours, you'll find him pretty soon. Just as fighters find other fighters real quick. Amen. Amen. Just as arguers find somebody to argue with real quick. Amen. Amen. So will those with an attitude they'll find somebody. And when we find somebody, then now we join attitude. And now it's me and Brother Sidney against that guy. Then it's me and Brother. Then we, then we find Brother Mitchell. He's just like us. Amen. Oh, I wish other preachers was like us. If other preachers was like us, we'd have it made, wouldn't we? Amen. They don't know nothing. They ain't got no sense getting out of the rain. Amen. Well, they ain't got what we got, have they? Amen. 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 I feel like praising him right now. Amen. Amen. Sister, if you'll come back to the piano, we're going to church here in a little while. Amen. Now, I was, uh, amen. Now, amen. If your attitude just don't much care for worship, you might want to reevaluate it real quick here. Amen. 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 I want to reach a place tonight where somebody can come out of that pew and say, I've sat back long enough. I've been dry long enough. I've been cold long enough. I've been down long enough. I am ready to feel the presence of God. Amen. The devil would love to destroy this church, but there's a place this church can reach where the devil can't do a thing in the world with it. Amen. Amen. There is no attitude that will keep him out. But brother, there's an attitude that will keep him out. Amen. There's an attitude that he don't want nothing to do with. And I feel that here in the house of God tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't care. Just hit something. Amen. Praise God. With somebody. Amen. Amen. Does anybody want... Amen. To reach a little higher tonight. Does anybody want to get above some things tonight? Amen. Amen. Well, they talk bad about me. Well, there's two things you can do. Well, they run me down. Well, there's two things you can do. You can get an attitude about it. Or you can reach an attitude above it. Amen. 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 I have done both. And I know what I choose tonight. Amen, Lord. Lift me up above the shadows. Plant my feet on higher ground. Lift me up above the clouds, Lord. Where the pure sunshine is found. Lift me up above my weakness. Lift me up into thy strength. Lift me up above the shadows Till I stand with the Adeline Amen, amen Brother Rick Connor, amen If I was able to do it right now I'd grab a hold of you Throw you up over my head And run you around this church Amen, I would Amen, I would Brother Tanner, if I could right now, I'd lift you up above every cloud that comes into this world. I'd sure do it. If I was able to do it right now, I'd lift Pine Grove Church up so high right now that the low clouds of trouble would just roll under it. But I can't do it, brother. Well, wait a minute. Maybe if I can't do it, Maybe we all together could. Amen. Maybe every one of us could just join together right now. And let's lift one another up. And let's lift the church up. And let's lift the Lord up. 
Glory to God, there's a place we can reach in this service tonight. How's that second verse going? Lift me up above the shadows. Oh, the storms are raging high. Lift me up, my blessed Savior. Let me to thy bosom fly. Where no evil thing can harm me. Over on the shining side. Lift me up above the shadows. Let me ever more abide. Woo! Glory to God. Won't you turn around, take somebody by the hand. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much you care about them. Glory to love you, Brother Bill. Love you, my great boy to God. I God, Holy Ghost, have your way in this service right now. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Sister Judy. Amen. Sister Lynn. Thank you for sharing your daddy with me. He's been a friend to me. Amen. A great friend to me. Thank you for sharing him with me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pine Grove Church, for letting me be one of you. I wish. Oh,